right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagements. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, an ultimate fighter season winner, Diego Nightmare. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your home. striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. That's a really strong leg kick there by Sanchez. 
goes to the body there. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Sanchez. Switching stances here. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Sanchez. He had a hurt. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. with these beautiful leg kicks. Kick right under that right elbow. Back to the feet. Sanchez going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Good stick. Just a slip there. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Sanchez. Great punch. body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Back and forth we go! Nice jab by Sanchez. Tries to work it into a takedown. Big power shot there. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Effective punch there by Sanchez. Already closes the distance, gets the single power tie. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. 20 seconds left. Strong hook to the head there by Sanchez. Big head kick. Just misses there with the left. That's a big strike right there. So a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. Are you ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. 
Thanks there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Let's focus now. He's able to slip the left leg. Oh, man, hit to land. Oh! Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. And they both stand up. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice loop and punch. Liver kick. Lee's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one and it gets blocked. with a head kick, that at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Yes, they heard him in the last round, same exact one. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Look at him drive his chin into the front of the body with that body kick. And they separate. the left hand. Big kick lands. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nice combination of kicks there by Lee. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight, Phil. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Got clipped with the right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Good punch. Great back. Nice double leg takedown down attempt there, and you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward. In this a lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Trying the flying knee there. What a body kick. Well, the body was wide open. His opponent took advantage. Keep to the body, lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Big punch land. Ooh. Just missing on the high kick there. And they separate. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strike, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. He's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Sanchez gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. 15 seconds remain in the round. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. Nick Pitt in the fight with a jab. Good jab. Oh, 
All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Sanchez gets touched by that kick there. Trying to establish that jab once again. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from life. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick-heavy approach. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Sanchez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Well-placed kick there by Lee. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Head kick there blocked by Sanchez. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into the opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Keep your hands up. He's going after the head. He missed with that jab attempt there. Nice kick there by Lee. Checks that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Powerful leg kick land. Back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. All collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Yeah, left hook found its target. And follows up with another one. Went for the inside leg kick. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh, nice right hand. Sanchez gets the double leg takedown now. Back to the feet now. Liver kick. If you hit those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Sanchez has got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Oh, massive kick to the head. Big knee to the body. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to knock gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Sanchez gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Throws the right hand there. He throws every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 
Oh, big punch land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big kick land. Just missed with the straight left hand. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Move forward. When he sets on you, take him down. And then just keep mixing it up. Give me those kicks too, baby. Give me those kicks too. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. In the he field. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Look at the angle of that nice body. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Looking to land the right just out of range. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Sanchez's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut. John, if he's... If he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make it pay for it. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Relax, relax. Oh, nice. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Lee's kick, that one blocked. Oh, he missed with that right hand. What a punch. Ooh, head kick lands and it's hurt. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. Because even as the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Nice right punch followed by a left. Sanchez gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his moment. Go finish his fight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's got his back now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. A lot of top 
pressure being applied here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Sanchez. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Seconds to go. Missed with that attempt. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice head kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in something. Back to the jab now, no good. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Just misses with the jet. Very nice leg kick there by Sanchez. Real nice body kick land. Massive body kick land. Nice punch there by Lee. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, suddenly, he'll change his stance. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, that right thigh starting to welt. Some serious bruising going on here. Sanchez gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. Just unable to quite find that range. Straight left counter is true. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Blocks that strike. Oh, that right hand is on point. Try to establish that jab. Well, you can chuck. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his attack. Low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Sanchez gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. He's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Just missed with the left there. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Lee. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Nice punch there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Right 
Shot to the body, now blocked by Sanchez. Ninety seconds to go to decide this one. Big leg kick lands. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Oh, look at the welts all over that right thigh. Really starting to bruise now. Went back to the well with that hook to the body. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Nice punch by Sanchez. Oh. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, got him. You got him. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Team. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Head kick, that's a miss. The final horn sounds! Decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game.